Well, I'll tell you, uh, all my years at WFMY were really great. Working with Mike Hogwood was fascinating because he was so sharp on sports and the sports teams and the sports programs in our area until no one could beat him when it came to getting the information and getting it on the air like it should be. Sometimes he would might be a little bit late on getting to a story or to a team or a game or whatever, but he was so, so sharp on getting it done until it didn't matter what time he got there. I think, in my opinion, always brought the best story of what was happening in sports to WFMY. WFMY News 2, at the time Mike was there, was number one in the market. Um, and I think Mike was a huge reason that we were number one because not only did he bring scores and, and outcomes of games, but he also brought information about the people who were playing. And that's what folks in our viewing audience wanted to hear. You know, who is this guy who's the quarterback? Who is this guy who is the running back or whatever those titles are? Uh, but he was really good at knowing the players. Well, no one can replace Mike Hogwood. Um, he was extremely good at what he did. Lots of guys who came after him, and, and ladies too, were just as good, but he had already put that name out there. He had already put his talents out there, and that's what people loved. He had his family uh, I met, and they were just so delightful, um, totally supportive of him, did all of the things he needed to have done, had wife and children, and it, and it was wonderful to see them surrounding him with all of their uh, patience and their success and their everything. It was wonderful. I hope that people will remember what an excellent sports reporter he was. Sports anchor, reporter, whatever you want to call it. He knew the business and he knew how to deliver the business so people in the viewing audience would appreciate it.